Okay, we've done a lot, but so far we've been working with directories. Obviously, if you want to share uh, your mods with people, you don't want to just send them, uh, you know, a folder full of stuff. And traditionally in Doom, back in the day, we had WAD files, which means where's all the data, I believe. Uh, and it, I think one of the main reasons they did WAD files, which is kind of like a zip file, uh, is that it allowed them to not have to worry about forward slashes and backslashes depending on what operating system you are because even though they were designing uh, Doom for uh, DOS they were writing it on next step machines and which were Unix like machines so they would have forward slashes where DOS machines would have backslashes I, I believe that was one of the main reasons they, they came up with the WAD files uh, but it also was just a nice place to put all the stuff uh, but you needed special tools to extract WAD files and pack them back together. Well, nowadays we have for Doom mods, you can use the old WAD files, but you can also use pack three files. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret, a pack three file is just a zip file. <laughs> so all you have to do is when you're creating these Doom mods is zip up the directory and name it pack three. In fact, I think you might be able to just name it zip, but normally you would name it pack three. So I'm just gonna, you can use whatever uh, program you use for zip. If you're on a, uh, you know, a Unix based system or a Linux system like I'm on, you already have zip installed most likely. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say zip, I'm gonna say dash R. Uh, so I'm in a directory here from the last tutorial where we made flying imps. We only have two files in here, but you might have folders if you're adding sounds. So that's what the dash R is. Again, if you're you whatever program you use to create zip files, you can just drag and drop all the files in there, just making sure that you know your top level directory is top level directory inside that zip file. Meaning wherever directory your Z script file is in, that should be the main directory inside the zip file. I'm saying zip here, so we're gonna zip up. R means recursive, meaning if there's directories, also zip them up. Then I can give it the name of the file I want to create. I'll just call this flying imps.pk3. And then I'm just going to say asterisk, everything in this directory. And if we look right now, we have an imps pk3. And now when I run gz doom, instead of saying dot, meaning look at the current directory, I can say, look at this uh, pk3 file. And when I run that, it's gonna run just as if I'm running it in that directory. So that's how you would package it up. It's just a zip file, but you give it the ex extension of a PK3. And there are our flying imps that will fly around if they have need to. You can see they're, they're off the ground there. Uh, and again, imps are in Doom 1 as well. So I should be able to just say, yeah, Doom wad. Oh, I said warp 01, which I think I would say E1, M1 for Doom 1, so it may, oh yeah, okay, let's just do ultimate Doom. So this WAD file, or this uh, pack file, should also work here. So anywhere that there's zombie men, they're now imps that fly. Other than that, they act just like regular imps. Uh, but that is how you package it up. Again, uh, I guess on Win, I haven't used, I, I haven't been a Windows user for, almost 20 years now. Uh, so I don't know, back in the day you used WinZip with its continuously allowing you to not purchase it. Uh, I would hope that there's something uh, that you can create zip files. Uh, and and if, even if you are on Linux, you can also you know just right click the files and probably say create a zip file. However you create zip files is my point, is you're, you just create a zip file, but you just have to make sure that the root directory inside that zip file is your directory where your scripts are and just call it .pk3, and now you can share that with other Doom users and they can reference that file. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. There you can support me financially if you like my videos. You can also like, share, subscribe, and comment. Also check out the links in the, play in the description of this video for the full playlist, as well as the links to all the examples. As always, I hope that you have a great day.